ABC 7 Storm Track Weather First Alert. Well, welcome back. We're taking a look at how things were this afternoon. Sue Young Park in Northeast El Paso. Things looking beautiful. Look at that blue skies, those mountains, trees, not really going back and forth too much. Overall, it was a nice, warm afternoon. Look at that. That bird even enjoying it. Hopefully you enjoyed the afternoon as well. Changes are coming in our forecast by Sunday, though. Triple digit heat, though, is back tomorrow as well. But the first alert that we're in that is in place is mainly for the return of those storms because we still have parts of town that are still recovering from the strong storms we had the past few weeks. Let's take a look at the numbers so far at the El Paso International Airport. So far this month, over two inches. Year to date, over five inches, almost at six inches, and we are well above normal. And we could get to that three inch mark with those storm chances expected, not only for Sunday, but for the remainder of next week as well. Taking things to New Mexico State University this month, you can see not quite as much as we saw, but year to date, still over two inches of rain. So overall, you know, we're on track to get more numbers on the board. Now, weather outlook for the Virgin Galactic Fly, I told you, could it impact that? Well, it's happening early in the morning, and these storms are expected to hit us, the strongest ones, mainly into your afternoon and evening hours. But winds, clouds, rain and storms, and visibility are some flight factors to consider. We're gonna take a look at your storm outlook mainly for the area out there where they will be having that event for your Sunday. It does show the possibility for some strong storms out in that area. But as I mentioned, our future track model is showing most of the activity first happening midnight hours. Let's take the model all through Saturday because we are looking at drier conditions expected for your Saturday. Not even much cloud coverage, but then the area that I showed you by 12 a.m. We do see some strong storms developing, but then by 6 o'clock, 6 a.m., Things start to clear out just a bit, and those clouds push through our area, El Paso and in Las Cruces. That's when we're expecting most of those storms to start to develop after your 2 o'clock hour. We see storms out towards the lower valley, mainly towards far east El Paso, and in between Las Cruces and El Paso as well. By 7 o'clock, stronger storms developing in the Las Cruces area, and we're going to have those storm chances continue even for your Monday. Now that Virgin Galactic launch Sunday weather outlook, as I mentioned, a slight chance early in the morning. We will have a few clouds out there and gusts will pick up after your 10 o'clock hour. Now back in our area from 2 to 5 p.m., rain chances increase to a 30% chance. Then after 5 o'clock, we're looking at those storm chances, 50% chance. Now you can always stay up to date by downloading the ABC7 Storm Track Weather and Traffic app. You want to see if storms are heading in your direction. Remember when we say that 50% chance doesn't mean everyone in town is going to get some of that rain. Just portions of town are going to get some of that heavy rain. Other areas might not even get that or just get a few sprinkles. But you can always stay up to date by downloading the ABC7 Storm Track Weather and Traffic app. Storm chances will remain. We have a slight chance for Tuesday and Wednesday. Then they're going to pick right back up for Thursday and Friday of next week. Temperatures are going from triple digits Saturday and then they're going to dip down to the 90s for Sunday, lower 90s for your Monday, and we'll continue to track those 90 degree temperatures for the next several days. Outside right now, though, 95 is our current temperature and your seven day forecast showing first alert in place for your Sunday with 90s remaining in the forecast and storm chances as well.